Then, in 1938, an American inventor put his mind to the problem. How could he develop an ultraviolet ray generator which would have none of the disadvantages of the older types? One that would make the sun's health-giving qualities available at low cost to underprivileged men, women, and children who lived in homes rarely reached by the sun's rays. The inventor, Frank Furity, went to work in a Milwaukee basement. After several years of intensive experimentation, he came out of that basement with a proved theory and an ultraviolet ray generator operating on an entirely new principle, activated by radio waves, a pure quartz tube with no electrodes to deteriorate and burn out, simple in principle and operation, an automatic timing device so that it could be used safely in the home and at a cost which would make it available to people in all walks of life. But before going to the public with this startling new product, Mr. Furity gave this lamp the acid test. He submitted it to the American Medical Association, which in turn requested an eminent scientist to test the lamp. Here is the scientist's summary of his many laboratory tests. The Suncraft ultraviolet lamp produces actinic rays of proper quality and sufficient quantity for the production of skin erythema and pigmentation for bactericidal action and for anti-rachitic effects, prophylactic as well as curative. And here's the home of Suncraft, dedicated to the health of the American people. Mr. Furity's invention begins with these pure, transparent quartz tubes. Quartz being one of the very few known materials that completely transfers all of the ultraviolet rays. Experts reduce the long quartz tubes to the length of the lamp. mercury trap is fused to it and the air drawn out. The evacuated tube is now filled with rare gases and it is then sealed with a drop of mercury on the inside. Ionic discharge through the tube. Here's the finished heart of the lamp. A burner without electrodes. No metal wires to sputter away and coat this precious quartz and hold back the vital ultraviolet rays. This sealed tube without wires is placed in a field of radio waves. And here it is, ready to bring its health-giving rays into the dark corners of the world. But not before each lamp gets an exhaustive 48-hour test under these high-frequency radio waves. Oh, the waves are there all right. You can't see them any more than you can see the ultraviolet rays which are now pouring through these crystal-clear quartz envelopes. But here's a piece of willemite which is sensitive to ultraviolet light. Notice how it glows when it is exposed to the rays. To emphasize the importance of the quartz tube, an experimental lamp was made up of ordinary glass. Very little, if any, of the ultraviolet rays get through to the willemite. On the production line, skilled hands carefully meticulously bring together the numerous small parts. These are hands of people who are mindful of the fact that they are not just assembling a lamp. These nimble fingers are building health, human health. These are not just craftsmen, they are sun craftsmen with a keen sense of responsibility. For in each lamp they weave the reputation and integrity of Suncraft. They are dispensers of health with an unusual pride of performance, inspired by an understanding and kindly leadership.
so they assemble and test. Assemble and test. Test to make sure that the eventual user will receive the greatest benefits from the vital rays which are to pour into hundreds of thousands of homes. Tests of its automatic timing device to assure just the proper amount of health-giving rays and no more. And as final guarantee of safety to users of Suncraft, a carefully written booklet and goggles to protect the eyes are wrapped with each lamp for shipment. And now let's see the visual proof of the scientist's report. This man is giving his face a six minute exposure to Suncraft's ultraviolet rays. Next morning, he seems rather pleased with the healthy outdoor appearance created by the swelling of the capillaries under the skin. This sunburn or erythema is the first prerequisite of ultraviolet therapy. Now let's test the germ killing effect of exposure to the Suncraft lamp. Under the microscope are living organisms on a quartz slide so that the ultraviolet rays can reach them. Looking through the microscope, we can see the effect of the ultraviolet rays on these organisms. It is this germ killing property of ultraviolet rays which helps to heal stubborn wounds. And this ability to kill germs is transferred to the bloodstream by the action of the ultraviolet rays on the skin. This irradiated blood circulates through the entire body and carries its germicidal power with it, thus helping us to resist disease. As a result of these beneficial effects of ultraviolet exposure on the blood, an interesting medical technique has been developed to speed up this bactericidal action. Here at Grace Hospital, a measured amount of the blood of a patient is bypassed through a quartz container where it is exposed to ultraviolet rays and then recirculated throughout the body. This method has proved especially helpful in fighting virus pneumonia. In contrast with this technique of bringing the blood to the ultraviolet rays, a quartz applicator has been developed to carry the rays into the body cavities. Medical science is also using the bactericidal effect of ultraviolet rays in operating rooms. Suncraft ultraviolet ray generators are being used at Henroten Hospital to kill airborne bacteria so as to reduce the possibility of infections from operative wounds and to heal incisions more rapidly. Most of the airborne bacteria in a room can be destroyed without danger of overexposure to any of the room's occupants. Now as to the anti-rachitic effects of the Suncraft lamp, which the scientist reported. Here are two little brothers, same size, same age, same weight, and same state of health. Both of them will be fed identical meals, deficient in calcium and phosphorus, so as to induce rickets. But the one will get daily ultraviolet exposure from the Suncraft lamp during this experiment. Now, compare the two after a week of the calcium-deficient diet. It's difficult to believe that they are the same age. The little fellow is below par in appearance and shows many of the deformities seen in rachitic children. The ultraviolet rays supplied by the Suncraft lamp made up for the deficiency of the diet in the Big Brother. As we saw previously, ultraviolet rays activate the sterols in the skin. The vitamin D thus released is absorbed by the bloodstream and distributed around the entire body. The released vitamin D stimulates the absorption of calcium and phosphorus, which are necessary for the building of strong bones and teeth. The United States Armed Forces have long been advocates of ultraviolet radiation. A special Suncraft lamp has been designed for the purpose of irradiating the entire body front and back. These special Suncraft lamps are so powerful that within four minutes, the entire body is bathed in health-giving ultraviolet rays. These lamps, too, are equipped with burnout-proof Suncraft quartz tubes, in which the intensity of the ultraviolet rays will never lessen, no matter how often nor how long they are used. In many types of skin diseases due to bacterial infection, ultraviolet rays are of great usefulness. In the Handbook of Physical Therapy of the American Medical Association, we find the following statement. 
It appears to be the general impression in the medical profession that ultraviolet radiation is of great value in dermatology. Among the skin diseases benefited by ultraviolet therapy are pityriasis rosea, impetigo, psychosis or barber's itch, ulcers and wounds that refuse to heal, psoriasis, and acne. We have seen that many diseases respond to the beneficial effects of ultraviolet rays. But prevention of disease is even more important. The reflector of the flexible Suncraft lamp may be readily detached so as to follow the motions of a wriggling infant. One of the greatest day-to-day -day uses in the home for this ultraviolet generator is the prevention of disease by building and maintaining good health. The usual peeling of the skin may be avoided by applying a little Suncraft skin cream before exposing the face to the ultraviolet rays. Like the food we eat, these rays are essential to good mental and bodily health. They increase the sense of well-being and alertness of mind and act as a tonic in the winter months. They are as natural and necessary for the skin as cleanliness and fresh air. Ultraviolet rays improve the health of the skin and a healthy skin is a beautiful skin. Suncraft's tonic effect on the nervous system induces deep, restful sleep in safety. It is the only ultraviolet ray generator designed for the home which does not deteriorate with use. It continues to send its full quota of beneficial ultraviolet rays through its crystal clear quartz year in and year out, effectively and safely. From its humble beginning in a basement, Suncraft is today sending its beneficent rays to all corners of the world. Today, more and more people are stepping out of the shadows, bringing the vital health-giving rays into their homes for happier and more healthful living. Here, is ultraviolet for all at the end